Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Crosstimers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Good to see you working today at the barn. All right guys, take a look at what's going on in the barn. Sam's back. One of my former students from Plano is back. He's been up here. This is his third trip up here. We're gonna get some ranch weld, man. We're gonna get some work done here at the Ponderosa. Brought his hired hand with him. It's kind of nice to let Sam and his helper, Joel, uh, get in here and get after it. And I'm just staying out of the way now and help when I can. But uh, I'll show you what's going on inside the barn and what we're doing. All right, y'all, we are kind of back for day two, essentially, but take a look here. We got a French doors in here in the barn. Uh, we've got our four inch sheep purlin put up. I really been busy scrambling around and stuff. Uh, got baby girl today, she's hanging out with me, so that's fun. Um, but they've been working in here doing most of this. But last uh, yesterday evening, we were able to put the door in and they've done all this building of the wall and the framing for it so pretty fun and exciting to actually see it brooks and i just got back with sheet metal so we got sheet metal uh, we're gonna start putting the sheet metal on it pretty soon they're doing a couple little projects for me putting in a gate on the chicken pen while i was gone uh, so they've been doing that got a other couple of things to do in here <laughs> brooks and i are gonna eat lunch with uh, sam and joel real quick brooks and i gotta run to the feed store we gotta get some more cubes. We're out of cubes. We're gonna go visit the Big Joe herd. And then we gotta put a hay for the yearlings. And then we're gonna talk to you a little bit more about what's going on. That and got some new products to show you. And then we're gonna also talk to you about um, a new jerky club membership that we're starting. So we'll show you more of the barn too as well. Brooks and I just got back from the feed store. Got our cubes set here that we're stocked up for. We got one a bag of cubes for the yearlings and we got another bag for Big Joe. So we're gonna go down to the pasture, check all them, see how they're doing. Stop and see Sam, they're actually working on the front entry, making a couple adjustments on it. Anyways, we're gonna go do that, check all them, make sure they're good. You what? Where's Big Joe? Where's he at? Where's Big Joe? Where's Big Joe? It's the yearlings. That's Hoss. Say hey, Hoss. Hey, Hoss. Hey, Hoss. Hey, Hoss. You gonna go feed Big Joe first? You gonna go feed Big Joe first? Okay. Oh, I see him. There he is. He's way over there. Who is that over there on the hill? Uh, that's Big Joe. That's Big Joe. All the yearlings are coming too. Come on. Now we can get him over here. You got to count him. Looky, there he is. There he is. There he is. Big Joe, Big Joe. Oh, Big Joe's dead. <laughs> yes, he is, isn't he? How many are in there? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. 
Uh-huh, keep going. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine bison? Good job. Big Joe Herd's got nine bison. Let's give the yearlings some food real quick. Bigger. Trying to. Got them taken care of. What do you think, Maya? Come on, get up here. What do you think? You see any deer? Where are they? You see them? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Brooks and I, we were pulling over the hill here after feeding the big joe herd and um we uh saw some deer so we had to get the knockers out and look for deer so but i did want to tell you guys about something um here's one of our vests i love wearing vests i, I really just kind of started it after i was raising bison and i'm really kind of soft when it comes to being cold so i started wearing vests but we got a new vest for you um got a little bison here on it but i something 
even more exciting some of them are starting to kind of make their way up here but we are starting a jerky membership and uh, if you haven't had our jerky or our snack sticks um now's a great time to do it um especially if you have had them and uh, you like them and want to share them as a good stocking stuffer or a gift it's a great time to do it christmas is around the corner guys so if you need an easy gift to send to people here it is right here so if you've ever had our jerky combo it's basically the same thing uh, but we're giving you a discount on it uh, stretched out over a period of time uh, if you purchase a, a jerky membership you get this right here you basically get two bags of jerky you don't get him but you get the honey barbecue sticks or you can uh, choose the original sticks so, and what comes with that is you get 10 you get 10 honey barbecue sticks two bags of 2.5 ounce jerky or you can get the regular you can get the you can get the original snack stick with two bags of jerky your two options honey barbecue or two bags of jerky that come in your jerky membership dude you got some hair you got some hair big guy Hey, Big Joe. The Lonesome Goose is back. <coughs> what are you doing, Charlie? You hanging out on the Bella Hay? Just out here in the pasture number two, the yearlings, uh, I've got them, uh, let them go from pasture one to two. And Brooks and I just found them cubes over there and uh, they're still held up in uh, pasture one right now. So they hadn't made it to two. Gives me an opportunity to come over here and roll out some hay. Yes, uh, I know you've been seeing me do a lot of that lately, but that's that time of the year. We're out of the growing season. You may see a little bit of green here and there out in some of these pastures, especially in the burn unit. But yeah, every, Every uh, farmer, rancher right now, it doesn't matter if you're raising horses, bison, uh, cattle, sheep, goats, um, you're in the same, we're all in the same season, uh, at least putting out hay. And so, at least here in Oklahoma, we are. So, uh, but I, I've contemplated on this for a long time, but I've been rolling out the hay. And one of the reasons I've been rolling it out is one, it makes it easier for them to eat, all of them. There's 22 in this pasture, and so it's easy for them to spread out and eat this. You can see right here behind me is a is a former area where I did roll it out. And you can see how well they're eating it. Yes, there's some left over and that's okay. But some of this hay, we've, uh, we had, I think 26 bales of hay harvested off of this property over on the back side. And the rest of the hay was purchased from around here. Uh, very close to here and so whenever we do this and spread it out like this 
and let the bison come out here and eat on it and, and, and whatnot. The great thing about it is you're spreading out somebody else's nutrients you're spreading out somebody else's native grass now i kind of watch and pay attention to where my grass comes from or you know what hay what type of hay it is we pay attention to that you don't want any crazy exotic stuff like straight johnson grass out here but um you know this is good hay that we get um locally and so we're basically taking their nutrients and and their grass and, and putting it right out here on uh on ours and so I kind of like that benefit of rolling out the hay and spreading it out. The bison will eat it, they'll poop it out, and it kind of goes back into the soil. And whatever is left is spread out here. And so there may be some seed in this and maybe some native uh, grass seed in here. So I kind of like rolling it out and it seems to be working better. But uh, they'll make their way over here in just a little bit. Just wanted to share that with you. And this is a uh, part of the ranch world. If you're into this livestock sort of thing, uh, right now we're putting out probably one bale for every three days maybe and they're going through it pretty good so we'll go through the hay this year for sure and uh, we're putting out 1,000 pound round bales so I would like to get a lot of this hay tested to see what the protein uh, breakdown is on it so maybe that's something I can uh, get done for us but anyways this is uh this is what we do it's that time of the year we're rolling out the hay Thor what are you doing in there Oh, that's because your shot collar's not working. Oh, yeah. So you get in this nice new chicken cage. Speaking of Sam and Joel, they put this, built this nice gate for me so we could put critters like him in. <laughs> Actually, just kidding. It's uh, for some of these hooligans hanging out up here. Yep, this is what this is for. Chicken door will be there. We're gonna put some wire around this. Put some, I know some of you are like, well, Dusty, that's too big. <laughs> People, I know, this is a four by four panel. It is too big. Well, he just figured out he could go through there. Yes, I know this is too big. People, we've raised chickens before, so uh, it needs to have a tighter mesh wire around it, chicken wire or, or something a little bit even stronger than chicken wire. So we'll put something around it, don't worry. And uh, now we have this nice little door built by Sam and Joel. Good to go there. Got a ceiling on it. We'll wrap it up, put the little chicken door on it. We're gonna move it back in here so it's under this loaf and it'll be good to go. We are wrapping up the day here. Barn is getting some work done on it. It's exciting. Uh, you actually start to see the walls come up and stuff like that and um, tomorrow um, we're gonna start putting on the sheet metal and actually start looking like a wall um, but basically I'll tell you kind of what we're doing with this this is gonna be a big hangout area um, it's a 20 by 40 area and we're gonna eventually put some glass doors on the west side where you can see through this west side of the barn and kind of get that nice view and see see the bison and whatnot um, out to the west of this and then and then we're gonna have like a, a kitchenette area a bathroom still got some ideas but for the most part we know what we're doing with all this so I'm very excited and thankful to have Sam and Joel up here Joel's first time and uh, I know Sam appreciates his help and those guys have been working together it's been crazy because I've been running around getting metal getting feed and taking care of my normal things and not being in there working with Sam so Kind of feel out of place a little bit, but that's a uh, part of it. So um, we're gonna keep working. So you'll probably see some more work on the next video. If you're interested in the uh, Jerky Club, for more details on our website, you can check it all out. Uh, more apparel is coming at you guys. Some new stuff we've never put out before. You guys can look out for that. It's all at crosstimmersbison.com. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you soon. Keep ranching. So you need a comb, Big Joe. <laughs>